First sight, there is a chance the three shapes have got something to do with buttons on the controller that are used for console games. In the first episode, the main character explains that Squid Game was a game that children in his neighborhood used to play on a squid-shaped court. Arranging the shapes, circle, triangle and square, which is commonly displayed throughout the show, form the squid-shaped court as well. The writer of the show explains that the shapes actually resemble Korean letters. The circle is the letter O, the triangle is part of the letter J and the square is M. So when you put it together, it reads as OJM which are the initials of Squid Game in Korean. Imagine playing all the games in Squid Game to find out at the end that you could have known them from the start. Yes, that's right. In between the games, the players rested in the hall filled with bunk beds. With each game played, the number of players was reduced and so did the number of beds. This reveals that the painting on the walls is actually all the games the players would be playing throughout the tournament. The first game played is Red Light, Green Light. The second is the Honeycomb game. The third is Tug of War. Fourth is the Marble game. Fifth is the hopscotch like glass hopping game. And lastly the squid game. This vital detail blew the minds of many viewers. If the players in the game had known that the games they were going to play were written all over the walls, they could have definitely planned better. Player 67 wouldn't have to go around snooping and player 111 wouldn't have to wait for the next meal to find out the game. You have noticed that the staff are categorized according to the shape of their mask. These three shapes are also visible on the title of the show and the card given to the participants. The circle representing the workers, who are not allowed to speak unless told to do so. Triangle representing the soldiers, who are armed with guns. And square represents the managers, who give out the instructions. During the games, the staff only carry out their given tasks and nothing more, otherwise, they would be shot dead. When coming up with the design of the staff's uniform, the director took inspiration from the ant colony. Ants follow a caste system where the structure of their duties and roles are clearly defined. In the first episode, titled Red Light Green Light, we see all the participants gather in the arena. You may be surprised to know that all 456 of them were played by real actors and there was no CG involved. The creepy giant animatronic doll seen in the first game is also a real prop, not a CG. It can be found in a carriage museum located in Jincheon County, in South Korea. When you thought the doll couldn't get any creepier, notice how the real doll is missing its right hand. The production team borrowed the doll from the museum and returned it after filming. This doll really went viral and made its mark for the show as it was used for promotion in the Philippines. The director of the show was persistent in minimizing the use of CG, which meant that most of the sets seen in the show were created and built, in real life. Reducing the use of CG, and filming the show with real actors and sets, allowed the director to ensure that everything was portrayed in the most realistic way. At the same time, the actors were able to display their most authentic performance. So, like every other great show, was the Squid Game based on a book? The director of the show said in an interview, that he got the idea of the show back in 2008 from a Korean comic book. The comic was about people who were playing such extreme, deadly games for survival. The director had written the show back in 2008. During that time, he was in debt, just like the 456 participants of the Squid Game. He mentioned that if such a game existed, he would have participated in it too. The script was eventually completed in 2009 and was initially named Round 6 but was later renamed as Squid Game. This is actually shown in Episode 5 when the police officer was in the file room and he opens the box with a ribbon. He sees a list with all the winners' names, and at the top of the list you can see that the title is Round 6. At the beginning of the games, when the players moved from their dorm to the game arena, they would transit through a hall of stairways. The transition zone is a set of colorful, disorientating stairways which creates an unsettling atmosphere as you can't really tell where it begins and where it ends. It was revealed that this set of stairways was inspired by a lithograph print by Dutch artist M. C. Escher. In this lithograph print, titled Relativity, depicts a world where the laws of gravity are very much different from the real world. The complex stairway design shown in the Squid Game has a close resemblance to the Relativity, where there are stairways arranged in a mind-boggling manner, and it has certainly impressed many viewers. So let us just talk about all the linking and foreshadowing there has been in the show. 
First, Jihan goes to a horse betting race and wins 4.56 million won, which is the same amount the winner of the Squid Game receives. Second, notice how the gift Jihan gives her daughter is weirdly similar to the box the police officer finds in the front man's file room. It also somewhat resembles the coffins used for the dead bodies in the games. Third, let's talk about the player's death. Deoxu the gangster, gets betrayed by his sidekick and jumps down from the bridge to escape from his killers. In the games, the lady lies to him by telling him that she is willing to go ahead but instead she holds onto him tightly. Deoxu unable to remove her grip, gets pulled down together with her. After getting scammed by the middleman, the North Korean defector puts her knife at his neck. In the game, she was eliminated when she dies by a stab in her neck. Ali goes back to his workplace to get back what he was owed. He gets into a scuffle with his boss and steals the envelope full of cash. In the tournament, during the marbles game, he got his marble stolen from his partner and this led to his eventual death. Sangwoo, Jihan's childhood friend, is seen lying in a bathtub, ready to kill himself and in the final game, he kills himself using the knife. Biggest hint in the show would have been when player 1 reveals his name. Well, that is if you are affluent in the Korean language. The main character Jihan plays the marble game with player 1. Gihan takes the opportunity of his dementia and tricks player 1 into giving him his marble, even though player 1 thought of him as his close ally. Player 1 eventually reveals that he knew what Gihan was doing but let him win anyway. Before player 1's alleged death, he reveals his name to be Oh Il Nam, which literally means number one man in Korean. Il means one and Nam means man. This could have been the director's way of foreshadowing the mastermind of Squid Game. Another major hint showing that Player 1 was the mastermind behind the games was displayed in the first episode. During the game of Red Light, Green Light, if you look closely, Player 1 remained undetected by the creepy doll. You can observe how he was not outlined in green while the rest of the players were. This is backed by the fact that in Episode 5, Police Officer Jun Ho, manages to find the file room in the front man's office. He finds the file on all of the games that were played since the starting of the tournament. He pulls out a 2020 file and the first player in the file starts with number 2 and Il Nam's profile is not there at all. 